Hey guys, how are you? Welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome all cross watchers. And for those of you who are here for the very first time, hello, welcome. Say hi in the comments. Happy to have you join us. I'm pulling from Priestess of Light Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message comes through. Card 10, sacred breath and sound. Perfect for you. Life force communication. Life force, communication, sacred breath and sound. I love that it's a card 10. Um, who else got this? Capricorn got a message with some form. Uh, it was uh, numerologically added up to a 10 and represented the closing of a cycle, right? Some form of completion that zero drops off and we'd have we'd go back to a one. In tarot, that would be equivalent to like a 10 of wands. And then we go back to the ace of wands. So this has come through in a few readings this past um, series. So it's out there in the collective, cycles closing out, new cycles beginning. So keep that in mind. What I'm gonna do, if I can get a handle on the deck, is um, pull the spread, give you my general impressions, and then we'll get details from the clarifiers. Keep in mind it's a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for all of you, which is okay, that happens. Just take what speaks to you, leave the rest. I do offer private readings. There is always a link in the description box below each video. You may have to scroll to it. That will take you to that information. Oof. So we're opening up with the magician. I kind of like it. Sacred breath and sound, life force communication. That magician, she sort of feels like she's conjuring something. So the magician feels appropriate here. Uh-huh. And um, the challenge for you is you're trying to manifest your way out of some heartache or heart heaviness here, or that's the block to your manifestation in your unconscious awareness. Yes, 10 of swords. So given my theory of the tens, we have the painful ending here um, that you're still processing on an inter internal level. So the next card would be the gift of insight, the epiphany from spirit, right? The ace of swords. Um, so we'll see if that comes through. In the past, high priestess, I feel you've had intuition around this. Eight of swords, right now you may be feeling a little stuck. Um, you're not sure of your next best step. Maybe you're overthinking some things, second guessing yourself as a result of all that has gone before. Page of Wands, though, is lovely. It is um, a positive message that may come your way or your own positive outlook. So let's just jump in with that. Magician, Three of Swords, please. Page of Wands again. Three of Wands, Queen of Swords, I like that. So yeah, um, sort of anticipating a, a positive message is what you're trying to manifest. The Magician manifesting a positive message, what's you know, really hard to reckon with um, is you know, that you're, you're in a world of hurt right now. The Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords would sort of indicate to me that there's either been a painful ending here or you're processing it as such. You're um, maybe kind of waiting for, anticipating some positive message. Queen of Swords in your rational mind, you've got some unanswered questions. Um, there's some something more you have to learn about this. More clarity is needed, right? The Queen of Swords is coming in as if the communication would be the ultimate test of the truth of the situation for you, like fact-finding mission. So let's see the Ten of Swords in your unconscious awareness. And that doesn't mean that you don't know that you're, 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 you're going through something very painful. It just means that you're not, you're whole, it's not running your whole life at this moment. Um, you are, in fact, really contemplating moving to calmer waters, maybe some form of reconciliation about a painful ending that could have happened in the past. This doesn't mean it's happening now. Um, and you're manifesting something positive, but what keeps getting in the way is you still have some hurt feelings or 
you know, some wounds around the situation. But what I like seeing here is you moving beyond it and contemplating finding some um, middle ground or some compromise or mediation or negotiation with this person. A form of reconciliation is not out of the question. Very interesting. And I like that the magician's coming in and we have Page of Wands energy because it's like we kind of got to go back to the beginning. Um, so that seems realistic to me. We have the High Priestess in the past. Ooh. High Priestess twice here with the Eight of Swords in the middle. And underneath it's all surrounding the past life soulmate. Someone you thought you knew well, but then all of a sudden you're like, you're getting an intu intuitive hit there. Like, ah, no, maybe not. Um, so what happens then when we, th when we think we have um, clear intuition about somebody's character and then maybe, or how close we are or how comfortable they are with us, right? Whatever it is for you, again, it's a general reading. And then it proves out not to be true. We end up in a world of hurt. What happens? It like it throws us into this self-imposed prison of I can't trust my own judgment. I can't tr be a good, I'm not a good judge of character. I second guess myself now. I have a lot of self doubts. Um, it's the card of I can't have nice things, so I'm not going to do anything at all. I'm just going to stay stuck. It is a very difficult energy to live in, and it feels like you got a double dose of it. So now we have the Eight of Swords. Coming in from the past, we already know our intuition may have um, led us astray or not been accurate. And so here we are in the stuck energy of the Eight of Swords. Not knowing our, our next best step right. Oof. I do. I feel like you question, you're questioning this person's intentions on some level. You're stuck because you're not sure what's true. Um, knights make offers and the Knight of Swords to me usually is, you know, um, trying to either speak truth to power, to clear up misunderstandings, to understand someone and be understood. So there's a lot of emphasis on communication with the Knight of Swords. But then we have the devil, which suggests with you here, like, I don't know what I'm really dealing with, friend or foe. You know, is this is this a beloved um, past life soulmate? Where was that card? Here it is. Or am I dealing with something more karmic in nature? I'm not sure. Two of pentacles, right? Being on the fence about it, feeling torn. But it all seems to be like whatever the truth of the situation is, you're not 100% clear and you're kind of like a deer in the headlights. So let's see the page of wands in the future. I think you w invite the communication, um, which is good, and you reserve the right to judge the um, truthfulness or the accuracy or the clearness of intention. But I feel in your conscious awareness, you're like, yeah, I, I don't even know. I don't, I don't want to make a move. Um, so let's see the Page of Wands. Ten of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. So, um, I kind of like it because, again, we have the Ten of Swords. We have a Ten here. We have the Ten of Wands. We have Ten here. And what, what was I telling you? <clears throat> the next cards out would be the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, which would represent the fresh start, the gift from spirit of clarity, of passion, of um, inspiration. But we're not quite there yet. So it feels to me like some new message coming in or the optimism in some form of communication it comes as a huge relief, right? It, it, it's like a pressure release valve. It, it takes a lot of the pressure off. We kind of forge um, a path back to the friendship. Where, where are we on the same page? You know, where can we uh, be sure that we're creating a solid foundation, at least in friendship, if nothing more? 
um, because that's the basis of everything. And then the Four of Pentacles underneath is interesting because it suggests to me that you'll be open to letting bygones be bygones, but you will be in self-protection mode, much more guarded, um, especially around uh, this person's intentions um, and maybe not making harsh judgments. I'm not seeing that, but being optimistically cautious, cautiously optimistic would be the better way to frame that. So um, that's what I have for you so far. So I want to kind of see what this person you're dealing with has to say. For lack of a better phrase, I'm going to just refer to them as this page of wands because I think that's a message coming to you from this person that you're open to receiving. So that's what I'm going to do in the extended where uh, I'm doing a different spread. So it's a high, low vibration in terms of how they're navigating through this connection, their, um, how they see you, think about you, feel about you, their intentions toward you in the connection, hidden energy, something they don't really want you to see. Um, and their uh, message to you. So that's what we're going to do before I give you the astrology. If the reading is speaking to you, if you enjoy my style, if you enjoy my readings and you haven't yet, please do by all means subscribe below um, or wherever it is on your device. And do not forget to click that notification bell so that, you know, as I upload readings, they kind of come into your feed and remind you that I am here. Okay, that's the whole point. So that being said, here we go. We have the magician is Mercury, uh, which rules Virgo and Gemini. Our page of wands is out twice. That's the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Queen of swords is Libra, nice and balanced. Um, High priestess is out twice. She um, is associated with the moon. I say Pisces, but technically she's the moon. Um, what's hidden from us, right? Uh, page of uh, Knight of Swords, I'm sorry, is Gemini. The devil is Capricorn. That's what I got, okay? So thanks for joining me. I'm headed to the extended. The links to that are below. One is for a monthly where you get uh, extra access to a couple different collections for the price of one. Or if you just want the one time for this extended, it's available to you there as well. That's what I've got headed there now. See you in a second.